Hey guys, so first week of spring here in Australia, 6th of September, we're going to open up this small nucleus top bar hive and check out a couple of frames that we inserted two weeks ago. This hive has a 2020 queen, white marked in it. This queen was originally a supersedure queen from one of our bigger top bar hives and we popped her in here and let her overwinter. So out with the insulation, I'll remove this rear board as it'll just give me a little bit more extra room to check out the bees. Last time we went into this hive was two weeks ago when we added two extra top bars one in the third position from the entrance and one in the last position, which is this bar here. Now this bar is up in the honey area, so I wouldn't expect to see a lot of work on it. And as you can see here, the bees are just festooning and not really doing much. So I'll move that one aside and we'll pull out the next one and have a look. This bar two weeks ago was empty and now you can see the girls have started working on it. They've only been storing a bit of nectar and pollen but no brood as yet. It looks like the brood nest has expanded but just not onto this bar. Plenty of nice white wax and a lot of bees. And you'll see on the opposite side the same thing. I haven't put the camera in the greatest position to record top bars as I can't tilt them up to the camera, but I'll certainly do my best to get you some good shots. I'm working this hive currently with no gloves on, but I've taken a sting or two and the girls are starting to get a little bit upset. So at some point I'm gonna to have to pop these gloves on just to protect myself. As you can see with the white wax on the edge of this frame, the girls have actually increased the size of this wax since winter. Plenty of bees and some good capped brood down the bottom there. This frame's actually got quite a lot of brood on it. Nice capped honey at the top as well. Now if you have a close look, in around about the centre of the screen you'll see the white marked queen. I'll see if I can get a close up of her.
There she is in the centre of the shot. I've just remembered how difficult it was to mark this queen. She's a little bit scruffy in the painting area. But anyway, there she is. Nice big fat abdomen walking around on her brood. So to be expected, the centre of the brood nest is going to have a fair bit of brood on it as well. Most of it's capped. I think I'll need to consider building a new top bar just for this hive. I think I'll get that done in the next couple of weeks. I'll pop a video up and you guys can watch the process. Although these bees are pretty quiet, they're bumping me around the head more and more as I go through this hive. So I'm going to pop my gloves on just to save my hands. I'm really surprised at what I can see here down the side. In two weeks, the girls have built out one complete frame and completely laid it out with eggs. New wax, new eggs and plenty of bees. I'm very impressed. This queen is proving to be not a bad one. It's quite flexible, so I'll move the camera and get a better shot. Look at that. Two weeks, all done. This will be hatched in about eight or nine days and this box will be full of bees. Both sides are the same. Very happy. Pop that frame back in and let the girls get back into it. Here's one of the original frames from the hive, darker wax, but still full of brood and plenty of bees. I'm not sure if I've got a lot of time before these guys are really gonna take off. I'm thinking I might actually have to put them in a new box in a few days rather than weeks.
this next frame doesn't have a lot of action on it. Actually, it never does. I think they leave the bottom open so that the bees can walk in and out of the entrance without walking straight into a comb. As you can see, it's pretty old, but it's doing fine. There's a little bit of wax build up on one side, so I knock that off with my hive tool and then I'll pop these girls back together. Thanks for taking the time to watch our videos and by all means, like and subscribe if you want to see some more. We've just hit the start of the season, so there's plenty of time for me to video and upload all my bees. Thanks again.